G'day guys, this is a rundown of Zookeeper. Zookeeper is the server management admin tool that we've created for Grand Branch. You may notice straight away there is no any file called server management anymore. The only thing related to Zookeeper is a file down here which contains commands and so forth. I'll get to that in a moment. You may also notice no other directories there. I run the server. The server actually doesn't need to have a console anymore. Uh, you can actually read the password I'll mention in a minute through an external file, but if you have the log running, you see it at runtime. So right now it's generating the config files I need. So if I go back to here, you actually see that now there's a server config file, as well as basic server one, as well as one for administrators, voting and so on. Go back to the gate server, you may notice it mentions it down the bottom here that no admins are, no admins are defined, and that if I want to add some, I can either do it manually by editing that config file, or I can use the command admin setup plus a random password. Now I'm going to need this password in a moment, so I better write it down, just move the mouse there. Now this password is unique for every setup. And as soon as it's used and an admin is defined, it's deleted. So there's no need to worry about someone logging in later and making themselves an admin. Client I prepared earlier. There's my server. You can see I'm connecting up in the background there. go. The unnamed ground branch server. Welcome. Bring up the console. Admin setup plus that password if I've written it down correctly. There you go. You can see in the background there that uh, I ad added cr admin Chris plus my unique ID. In this case it's for Steam. That setup was called by me. Go to here. This is a server of best. Also use some fancy formatting here. Awesome heading. Other line. Some bold text. Also change the max players from here. Server password, spectator password, or whatever you like. You can actually eventually be able to fill this up with other things as well. I submit that. If I wanted to, I could also do the map list and so forth, but uh, don't worry about that right now. Now, I mentioned before that the uh, map name and so forth will be here, sorry, the server name and message, that message of the day will be there, but they won't update the first time until you restart or change the map. In this case, I want to bring the menu back up and type in admin again. Change the map to something else. So small town. Right, yeah, back in. And you can see what I just set up. It's there. Now voting is in the usual place. Voting, start vote. The commands that you can vote for listed here. Now the commands that you can add to this list are under Zookeeper. Elevated players, you can actually define ad like any other admin group. The admin groups are so you can separate people from super admins, admins, moderators, and so forth. So a super admin is, well, the, the, the owner of the, ad, the uh, server. They can do everything. An admin is someone who can do pretty much everything. And a moderator is, you know, just does some basic commands. Elevated players, as I said, they're like temporary admins until they kind of leave the server and they can do simple things or nothing at all. It's totally up to you that you want to set that up. And voting, of course. Again, voting commands are there. Uh, that's it, guys. If you've got any questions, uh, feel free to hit me up on Discord. If you've got any suggestions, also let me know. Have a good one.